velocity vector applications thanks to mr gautam my subscriber who requested for these problems and uh, i hope they are beneficial for you mr gautam the question here is a river is 2 km wide and flows at 6 km per hour anna is driving a motorboat which has a speed of 20 km per hour in still water and she heads out from one bank in a direction perpendicular to the current. A marina lies directly across the river from the starting point on the opposite bank. Part A of the question is, how far downstream from the marina will the current push the boat? And part B is, how long will it take for the boat to cross the river? So I have shown this situation with the help of a diagram here. So this line which I am showing here is 20 kilometers per hour representing, right? And this line represents 6 kilometers per hour. So you can guess this is my triangle for the velocities, right? So let's assume this is the point a from where Anna starts and she heads right across the river right and intends to go to point B since there is water current it pushes her down and she lands at point C so that is the current scenario so in the velocity diagram what we are drawing here is 20 kilometers an hour is the speed in still water for the motorboat, right? So that is 20 kilometers an hour. Now, the water is flowing at a rate of 6 kilometers per hour and it's going downstream, say, so that is going downstream. So, as the motorboat is trying to go horizontally, water is pushing downwards, right? So the result is, along the line AC. Do you see that? So here you will see a boat which will be pointing towards from A to B but moving downwards. So that is a scenario. Boat pointing like this but moving downwards with time. So that is the scenario here. So the question is how far downstream from the marina will the current push the boat? That means we need to find this distance, right? So the idea here is to find out the distance between B to C. To find that out, we see that velocities and distance will make similar triangles, right? So in similar triangles, ratio of sides are exactly same. So let us assume that the distance by which current pushes the boat downwards is D, let us say. Then D over 2 should be equal to 6 over 20 should be equal to 6 over 20 right let's assume because distance let's say distance is like this and because of the water boats go downwards and we get this triangle this triangle and this triangle are exactly similar right this is your velocity triangle and that is displacement triangle since they are similar ratio of their sides are exactly same correct therefore this distance d and we are assuming this to be 2 d over 2 is equal to 6 over 20 right so that gives us the answer d is equals to 6 or 20 i wrote 2 20 6 over 20 times 2 correct so that gives us 0.6 kilometers so that means the boat is going to be pushed down by 0.6 kilometers right so that is what you get here part b of the question is how long will it take for the boat to cross the river that means time now time is distance over speed right so we already know the distance we can find the speed so in fact what we will do now is we will find 
relative speed that means a to c how much is this or the resultant speed so the resultant speed from this triangle is shown from a c so we say resultant speed of boat is we can say velocity of boat is equal to since this is a right triangle we can write 20 square plus 6 square square root and that is equal to let's use the calculator right so 20 square plus 6 square square root gives us 20.9 so that is 20.9 for us right similarly let's also figure out what is the distance actual distance covered by the boat so say actual distance that is 2 square plus we've got this as 0 0.6 right so that is 2 square plus 0 0.6 square square root right and that gives us 2.09 Now from here we can find the time taken. So the time taken is equal to distance over speed, right? So the distance is 2.09. We can write distance over speed. That is 2.09 over 20.9 and that is 0 0.1, right? And the units are, for time taken, hour. So, so many hours, point one hour, right? So which is six minutes. So that is your answer for this particular question. So what we have done here is we have extended this question. And the next video deals with part C, which is if Anna wants to really go from A to B, in which direction should she had right so then we'll cover the part c of the problem that kind of completely give you an application where we are dealing with two different velocities and then relative velocities and working it out right so based on this i'll give you a problem on airplane and wind velocity which will be kind of similar and i hope you can solve that problem on your own and then i'll put up some more videos later I hope that works for now. Thanks, Mr. Gautam. All the best.